Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Morning, okay. Candace. Candace is in our HBA department. <laughs> now I'm sorting out uh, what we're going to send to the nursing home. Um, and Molly's Girl Scout troop also found out after that they're collecting for the homeless. So the smaller items are going to go to the homeless. Um, but like the big things of lotion like this will go to the nursing home. So We had a lot of stuff um, that was actually expiring this month. Yeah, so... Oops. I don't, I mean, like hair gummies, I don't think either group would benefit from that. And th like those expire this month, right? They might have expired before then. Uh, yeah, okay. November. They expire in November. Yeah, they expire this month. So that, that's perfect. We can't sell that on eBay. Uh, oh, yeah, November. It's not November anymore. Yeah. Uh, I forget what, I think we were like 4,600 or so last time. Yeah. I checked. So that's going good. It's like twenty five hundred dollars. Um I'm talking about and we're not done yet. I still have like two boxes of hair dye. I have all the um foot um shoe inserts and then the bath sponges and stuff. So. Planning on probably polishing that off today. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe we can get to five grand. Yeah. That'd, that'd be, be nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be perfect. That'd be uh five thousand dollars would be what 2900 gross so that that's not you know anything to sneeze at um oh i wanted to thank joel yes this is american bubble boy in here i want to thank joel over at american bubble boy he sent us a nice card with abraham lincoln waving an american flag riding a bear holding some bubble wrap Oh, the bear has an uh like a antler thing with a jingle bell tied to him and honest abe just ripped off a thing of bubble wrap so yeah <laughs> it's a cool card but joel has been um really great he is the owner of america bubble boy and he sent out a little gift package here we've got some coffee wake the hell up ultra caffeinated which we're, we're big coffee drinkers so we're going to enjoy this and then this is actually american bubble boy bubble blend <laughs> notes of leather bootstraps and garage sale regrets <laughs> that's i didn't see that at first yeah that's pretty funny that's pretty good uh candace candace you read you read the card all the way i didn't yet but uh did, did you say that they were going to be making this like available on the website and giving some away or something like that yeah they're gonna um let's see what he said okay here's his little uh promo for it the idea of a bubble blend came from meeting a reseller on a local pickup and a handshake this special bubble blend is for all those who have pulled themselves up by their bootstraps and created their own path forward as a thank you to our customers we, we will be randomly giving away one pound bags of our bubble blend which is a blend of Sumatra and Guatemalan coffee through December. They'll be randomly giving those away. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, so I'll, we'll uh, we'll probably try it tomorrow morning, yep. and we'll let y'all know how we like it. But yeah, th big thanks to Joel over at America Bubble Boy. Um, yeah, it's good bubble wrap. They get it to you fast, and it's a good price. So yeah, give them a try. There is there has been a link down below. Um, and do appreciate Joel being a partner of the channel. It's uh, it's been really good. Yeah, so, he's a good guy. He is a good guy. Yep. Good guy. Um, yeah, it. you know what? I need to go ahead and pull some orders. We got a lot of stuff going out today. Yeah. And we just made one really exciting sale that uh, we'll talk about in just a bit. All right, let's go. First thing up is 10 Charlie H Dynasty Warriors video game. At one point I was doing these by letter and then I quit and I actually have a ton yeah, it is, here it is right here $5.99 plus ship for this I actually have a ton more video games too a ton more of a lot of stuff okay I came over here to see if I still had these or not this has been listed a long time I'm talking like four years or something um that's why i was on super sale i actually got these for free big if y'all been watching a long time 
Uh, I got I have an old video on the other channel, Garage Flips. She took me to the shed. Well, this came from that shed. And, she, and it was all free stuff. It was a bunch of telephone stuff, telephone jacks and stuff like that. I've sold a ton of it. Uh, but yeah, these clips sold for six bucks plus shipping on top. Four Alpha sold this uh, Mitchell B25J Mitchell model. Got this in the garage sale for 50 cents and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. I gotta say, it sold a lot of different, um, a lot of different things and models, brand new model kits. I, that's one of the single best markets there is. Uh, it, I just wish I could find like, I could find like a, a, a hobby shop liquidating and just buy out all the inventory. That that's That would be like one of the best, for me, that would be one of the best possible scenarios I, I dream of that happening <laughs> but yeah models are just a really good market they sell really fast okay five delta r sold some kind of a uh, five hour energy stuff let's see if this is a no that is underwear five oh no delta is right here five delta r this is that box i keep having to move huh yeah this is it these uh this five hour energy what is it called energy shot raspberry and peach tea flavor this sold for 37.99 plus ship okay cc11 sold some kind of brain supplement maybe i should have kept that oh no lana you you don't need that oh okay thanks ken <laughs> <laughs> uh this stuff right here yeah these uh brain enhancement or i don't know brain nutrition this sold for the amount showing on the screen i can't remember what it was 19.99 plus ship on that okay from cc12 we sold some old spice both of them sold some vitamin d3 Went ahead and pulled this too. Swiss Military Blue Horizon. Eau de Eau, Eau de Toilette. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you say it then. If you're going to laugh at me, you got to do it. I don't speak French. <laughs> Try it. Try it. Eau de Toilette. <laughs> CC6. Some kind of plantar fasciitis. I think that's how you say that. Planer, planer fasciitis. Some kind of, ah, here we go. This sleeve thing uh, sold for some amount of money on the screen too. On three Bravo, this is pretty cool. The Packers uh, team bus coach thing, die cast. But this is really cool. Uh, this sold for thirty four ninety nine. Paid five for it at a garage sale. I think last weekend. And from 4 Alpha sold a tool bag, which is right over here, I think. Yeah. Yep, one of these right here. Sold for, I'm trying to remember, was it $29.99? Whoops. Uh, yeah, $29.99 plus shipping for that. I want to say we paid 10 a piece for these. Okay, from Small's drawer, we sold a Schleich Lion that I just listed yesterday for $9.99. Uh, how much? He was a quarter, right, Candace? Yeah, we got him for 25 cents at a garage sale. On Six Delta, sold three bottles of Bear. I'm just double checking these expiration dates. All 522. Okay, cool. Uh, for $8.99 plus ship. I was happy about this one. Got this for a couple of bucks at a garage sale. I think this might have come from Tennessee. Tennessee or Arkansas, one of the two. Uh, but uh, yeah, got $14.99 plus shipping for these Ziggy uh, coffee mugs. Sold some uh, car parts 
or actually this is a, a part for I think it's a part for a hot water heater she's looking for part number 14 got some big parts in here so I'm gonna have to dig a little bit door handles and whatnot this is a ah here we go yeah this sold for I think $9.99 and this on five echo there's a the little uh plastic band with the barbie stuff in it thank you um five echo bravo two this is vintage francy 1970 pony coat it's sold for some amount there um th we had two items on one order and it was interesting because we got a question for this coat that's been listed for months. I don't know how many, maybe three or four months or something. We got a question from one potential buyer, which we answered. And then a couple hours later, it sells to a different buyer, which is very, <laughs> very coincidental to me after having no action on it for months and months. But uh, yeah, that sold. And then on the same order, 7 Charlie Bravo 5. Okay be back here seven charlie it's not going to be in this one it's going to be in here bravo like it was shiny yeah here we go this is the other part of the order right here okay from five delta we sold a hat sold a hat it is a camel like camo looking hat mm -hmm. I don't think this is camel let's see no that's redhead and redhead I guess I can't find it because it's camouflaged ah I bet this is it there we go oh yeah it is you can barely tell it's a camel hat even this sold for some amount of money you see on the screen. From Five Delta sold a grab bar. I think we had a lot of these. Five, wait, where am I going? Five Delta. Uh, oh, here we go. It's under these baseball gloves. Really need to, really need to change. The hat box under your bench here. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. That's a perfect perfect spot there's some stuff under there but we can move that yeah okay cool good idea all right well this sold oh, gosh. cc9 sold some sleep gummies ah right here blueberry pomegranate flavor we're thing this round cc9 we sold some uh compression sleeve things Oh, no, the uh, plantar fascia sleeve, small, medium. One of these sold another Deadpool jacket. DP16 is what I'm looking for. Might have to put y'all down. Yeah, give me a minute. Okay, I found it. This uh, Deadpool jacket sold for $16.99 plus shipping. 10 Charlie, we sold a John Deere Turvis mug I know it's over here somewhere ah there it is got this at a garage sale Candace actually picked this out we don't see these too often this sold for $14.44 plus shipping on top must have been on sale when you see those weird numbers like that sold this starting lineup of Scott Mitchell and uh yeah congrats to the detroit lions fans you finally got a win this year which is good to see this is a fun sale this is the big home run from the hba buy which we didn't know they were worth this much and neither did the seller but uh she had them marked for 50 cents a piece so we paid we paid half of what she had marked so we paid 25 cents a piece 
um, for each package and we just sold them this morning for um, a total of $419.94 so this if we just take this one part of that whole um, that whole lot and we just look at this this is probably dollar for dollar like percentage wise profit wise this is probably one of the best flips i've ever had it is late afternoon now and we're kind of we're in our last little push of listing stuff candace is real close you're working on um bath lots bath lots using all this this kind of stuff over here yeah. five or six lots something like that five lots I think. more than that oh is it is it really yeah okay anyway she's got a handle on that and then after that all we have are these uh and some women's insoles. yeah that's all that's left is this one little box so if we don't finish today we we'll we'll finish tomorrow oh and these not, there's not much of that's gonna be like probably three or four lots okay so yeah so there is gonna be a little more money on what i'm about to tell you but it's not going to be a ton more maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars but um we did get a good question from chris longbeard who's a long time viewer and a uh, commenter which i always appreciate i always appreciate seeing chris in the comments but um he said so probably double up on the hba buy now the question is would you do it again and i think it's a pretty good question but first let's talk about like how much how much we're actually going to make uh, or how much we estimate like it's always an estimate because some of this stuff that slips into um, Like once we have it 30 days 90 days, etc I am gonna put some of the stuff on sale that hasn't sold yet. So this number is not Like a, I'm not claiming I will get this I'll get somewhere around this or we'll get somewhere around this uh, the total uh, for the listing so far is 5,294 does not include what she's working on now and that other stuff we showed you so we might be able to get it up to about 50 maybe about 5,500 I think is where what I'm guessing so that that would end up being a, a gross profit if it gets up to 5,500 that would be a gross profit of 3,400 so now you have to take fees and whatnot out of that uh, fees packing material all that normal stuff and it's going to be pretty substantial on that amount uh so let's just say our our net profit ends up being after we have to run put everything on sale that hadn't sold yet things like that let's say we make net 2500 is that worth it i want to hear what candace says about that first curious god how long have we been working on this has it it's, it hasn't been two weeks huh well, um, according to the board here, this is day number eight of listing it. Okay, it feels like it's been longer. <laughs> so eight, eight days, mostly you. I, I worked on it a little bit, but not much. Um, mostly Candace, eight days, and I said what to net twenty five hundred. Yeah. Uh, so Candace is netting for eight days of work. She's going to net over three hundred dollars a day. I would call that. I would call that good. Yeah, and look, we learned a lot of lessons. Yeah. Um, expiration dates are really important, even on things like lotion. Um, eBay's really cracking down on that. So um, a lot of, not a lot, but we had quite a few things that were expired or close to expiration. So even if they're expiring next month, I would probably pass it up. Um, yeah. Oh, you mean if the expiration dates? Right. Yeah. There was. Um, if it's close, I would pa I would pass up items. Yeah. Um. One like something that's real inexpensive but crazy to ship like these. I would yeah. pass these up. Wouldn't. Yeah. So, I I think. I think the, I I think I think we would do it again, but I, I agree with Candace. I think we would have said more selective and we would have looked through everything a lot more carefully. been more selective yes yeah. not bought this uh, although i mean i'm listing like i'm listing this for 15 dollars. that's 60 dollars right there yeah and it was it didn't cost us much this cost us a couple bucks 
That's like ten dollars right there. What? Profit? No. Well, no, that was it was ten. We paid five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so but still, I think we would have passed that. Probably. Yeah. And maybe some of the other stuff. Yeah. Maybe, but overall, I think it was pretty good. I I do I agree with you. I think we would have just been more selective, and we. It is kind of good, like you, uh, certainly not a fail at all. Uh, like Candace said, I think she made, she answered that perfectly. We learned a lot because we sold, we've been listing and, and selling a lot of stuff that we don't really have experience with, which is good as long as you don't get hurt and we didn't get hurt, at least yeah, not yet. I mean, it would take a lot of time to look at each item's expiration date, but I think we should do it in the future. Well, hell, we already spent on at at the site where we bought the stuff we already spent like i think we spent about three hours there two and a half hours at least mm -hmm. there so um, maybe if we would have spent another 30 minutes well i mean i was kind of helping her box stuff anyway so i could have i didn't think to look at expiration dates i just took her word for it that they had pulled out everything i spot checked some stuff and i didn't see and I, like i said it wasn't a ton but it's enough to where it made a little impact maybe five percent um, five to ten percent plus we have things that are expiring in the next month or two that if they don't sell we're gonna have to pull them mm -hmm. pull them down so um that's another lesson kind of we're making sure to put expiration dates in the title and they're all in the hba category our personal category so that once a month we can just pull up all the items in that and just look at the titles and see what may be expired and go ahead and end those listings there were some other things we learned too there there are some things that uh candace like y'all don't hear her curse on videos too often and she won't she doesn't curse in here hardly at all but she would get mad every now and then because uh there's a lot of stuff that ebay said you could not list we had two things of baby formula um that were okay first i went to list it and they i had in the title of the expiration they want it in the description and they want it to be clear in a you certain can't, format you can't put exp you have to spell out expiration okay so i went and fixed that hit submit again then it told me i couldn't list it because I, we don't have a business account i didn't know we didn't have a business account honestly yeah. I don't, uh, so I don't know what that means. That must be for retailers only, maybe. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, we weren't allowed. That was um, that was like thirty bucks left on the table there. Although we might, we may sell it on a different platform or yeah. something because it is in date and it's good sealed, all that stuff. It's, so yeah, it's in date and it's. Yeah. There were other things too, though, like uh, some of those little UV cleaner things. Yes, um, the little UV sterilization, like you might use it to. Um, sterilize your phone, phone or, or whatever um, they didn't allow us to list and it that. said and it, not only it, it would say I like what it says though it says uh, not allowed it's prohibited on eBay which I had no idea uh, do not attempt to relist I like yeah. that language yeah because I already knew that but I think it's a good uh, reinforcement so mm -hmm. uh, yeah we would I think we would do it again but we would have not got some of the stuff yeah some a lot a lot of the stuff is really good though so mm -hmm. if it would have been now his question specifically talked about chris's question talked about double up um it, i guess it was like if you just look at net profit probably a little bit more than a double up but pretty close to that yeah. if it would have been a double up gross profit no 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 but being that it was a double up net profit yes yeah i think so Mm -hmm. Good question, though. Uh, we're always learning, though. D don't claim to be experts on this stuff, although we're getting closer to being proficient with uh, stuff since we did that buy. So I'm glad we did it. Yeah. Learned a lot. Because it actually do see liquidation type stuff from stores out at garage sales. Quite pretty a bit. Qu pretty good bit. Yeah. So it's good to know what stuff now what stuff has active ingredients and expiration dates and what stuff doesn't so right that's going to be it for this one thanks a bunch for joining us and we will see y'all again next time bye guys bye